start to feel it take effect immediately. I'm new to this whole essential oils thing, so I got the 411 from my friend Michelle because she's been using them for 20 years. I use them externally diffusing. I also use them internally for different you know, symptoms as well as topically, um, depending on if I have a cut or, you know, scratch, bruise, that type of thing. Start with a kit of the basics. Lavender, peppermint, orange, frankincense, and Pro Shield, which is a pre-made blend. You can experiment. It's just like you're in the kitchen cooking. You can create all kinds of different things. Like a mixture to diffuse for your mood. That's at number one. You can use a little bit of peppermint in there and lavender, so it's calming and also um, makes you more alert. <sighs> Next, use essential oils for your sinuses. I make a little inhaler that has a little cotton pad with inside of it, and I drop a couple drops of frankincense and lemon on there, and it opens up the passageways and inside the lungs. That is amazing. Have you stuck this up your nose? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, no, not on my nose. <laughs> Hand sanitizer is at number three. Just mix together some aloe, Pro Shield, orange, and lavender. <laughs> that smells better than the perfume I wear on a daily basis. <laughs> Our last hack is for the kitchen. Cleaner is at number four. It's just a little castle soap, Pro Shield, orange, and distilled water. Would you say that you're gonna save money by using essential oils? Oh, definitely, because if you buy your honest cleaner from the store, it's gonna end up costing you at least $5. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna last you a lot longer for refills, and it's healthier for you, it's healthy for your kids. For these recipes and more, go to thelisttv.com. Essential oil hacks on The Breakdown.